Welcome back to the Buzz on Business. Today we have Bill Stage from the Youth Football Program in Brunswick. Bill, could you please tell us about the program? Sure. Uh, our Blue Devils Youth Football has been a program here in Brunswick for, we're celebrating our 40th anniversary here. Uh, we are a nonprofit organization looking to provide the fundamental skills and teach the fundamental skills of football and cheerleading to our participants. Uh, we have close to 600 kids in our program, um, seven teams, four different levels, starting at flag to seven, eight-year-old tackle to JV and varsity. So how long has the program been in existence? Forty years. Um, the program started in 1971. There was a group of gentlemen that was asked by the high school coach at that time to come up with a youth program. Uh, one of the gentlemen uh, mortgaged his home to buy the equipment for wow. the program uh -huh. and started with six teams, uh, varsity only level at that point. And at this time now, we still have one of those original members. His son is now a head coach in our team, in our league. So it's, it's a tradition that's handed down through the generations here in Brunswick. Uh, growing up here, I played in this league for four years. Uh, my daughter cheered in the league. My son currently plays in the league. Wow. Five years ago, I decided to get involved and uh -huh. become a board member and become a little more active. I wanted to see the league grow and become a larger entity as far as we want to do specific things that are involved here in Brunswick. We'd like to have you know, fields built. We'd like to see more kids participate, you know, get off the couch, not play video games anymore, get out, some, play some football, because we are the feeder system to Brunswick High School. Uh, those two, we, we actually uh, have done seminars and coaches clinics with the high school coaches to learn a, a, a watered down version of their offense and how they, what holes they use, what plays, what defensive schemes that they were going to run at the high school level. So when these kids get to the seventh and eighth grade and they're in the middle school programs, whether they play with us in middle school or they play for Brunswick at the middle school program, they're kind of learning the same type of um, skills and uh, plays. I guess, in, in, in assignments to where when they get to the ninth grade level, they get to freshman, junior varsity, and varsity in high school. They've had this in their city. They've had this education of football from the time they were seven years old. So it's a good system in place, and I can see it really progress forward from here with the students and how they adapt to it and go into the Brunswick system. That's correct. We're trying to educate not only the kids, but our coaches as well, to give them a better idea of, you know, give them better tools. Um, this year we're trying to implement uh, online uh, tutorials, yeah. video clips, drills, a drills library um, through the help of USA Football with our coaches uh, to give them a better education on how to have these kids actually run through, you know, what's appropriate for a seven-year-old is not appropriate for a 12-year-old. You know, you can't give them the same drill, they're not going to understand that. So, you know, you break, we try to, we're going to try to do a better job this year of breaking it down by level onto what they're taught you know, the proper way to tackle and block at seven and eight year old. When they get to, they shouldn't have to learn that when they get to the, the high school level. They shouldn't be teaching them how to get in a fit position or, you know, where their hands need to be or the rules of the game. They should know that already. They should be working on the scheme of the game, game planning for their next opponent. So I think it'll help out from the time that they're that age all the way up through. So those are the types of things that we're going to be working on this, this coming season with, edu you know, helping the education of our coaches and our players. What about the the cheerleaders, different aspect. The cheerleaders are very, they're just as important to us in our league as the football players. There are just as many members. We actually have a, an annual cheerleading competition for our cheerleaders that they work towards at the end of the year. That goes on for every level from flag all the way through varsity. They compete against every team that's in our league. Um, and it's judged by a local group here from, um, there's an all-star gym here in Brunswick. and. You can, you know, the proudest thing that we see now is Friday nights, seeing some of our cheerleaders, specifically on the sidelines that you knew as cheerleaders when they were growing up through our, you know, through our program are now Friday, you know, cheerleading down there on Friday nights, you know, or they're a member of an all-star gym and they got their start here because it was what something that they wanted to try, you know, and sometimes you don't make it at your school level. It's very limited at school, at, at middle school level or at high school level, even at, well, not for us, but a high school, but middle school level, 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, that these girls have an opportunity to even hone their skills as well. You know, it's no different for them as it is for a football player. So, you know, cheerleaders are very important to us, you know, and honestly, they work just as hard as the boys each week. 
they're out there every Saturday in the same weather that those boys are playing in. So, you know, I think that they, you know, the aspect of having them there is just as much um, as, you know, we get just as much pleasure out of having them there as that we do the boys in our program. Bill, what about uh, registration? Well, you can register online right now through May 1st. There's, it's very easy to click the button at the top of the page and fill out the information. Uh, we will also be holding on a uh, walk-in registration, uh, excuse me, at Brunswick City Hall, May, Sunday, May 1st, uh, at noon, starting at noon. And we also will be Sunday, June 4th, at, at noon at City Hall, the same thing. Uh, the information is on the website. And, of course, you can always register online all the way through June. Great. Thanks, Bill. That's great information that you just shared with us. And that's all for today. I'd like to thank you and join us next time on Buzz on Business.